everyone, welcome back to another Sparky lesson. Tonight we're going to be back in the book of Daniel, chapter 6. Now, uh, King Nebuchadnezzar has uh, passed, and uh, his son Belth Belshazzar had taken uh, place as king over Babylon, but then he was um, defeated and killed by King Darius and his army, and so Darius is now king over Babylon. So what happens is that uh, he places 120 princes over the land. So um, pretty much they would help take care of certain areas of, uh, of the country. And um, over them uh, were presidents, and the first one was Daniel. Now, Daniel was the favorite of King Darius. And uh, it was pretty obvious, and some of the princes uh, became very jealous. They did not like that Daniel was uh, the favorite. We are going to read uh, chapter 6, verses 4 through 5. Then the presidents and the princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom. But they could find none occasion nor fault for as much as he was faithful. Neither was there any error or fault found in him. So I'm going to pause right here. Pretty much they couldn't find anything that uh, could have been punishable or uh, would have made the king lose favor in Daniel that uh, affected the kingdom. Verse 5, Then said these men, We shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. So, in other words, they weren't going to find anything wrong. They knew this. Except if there was a law that went against the law God, God has given us. So they began to uh, come up with a plot against Daniel. So they went to King Darius, and they uh, suggested that he make a statute or a decree that um, for 30 days, no one was allowed to pray to any other god except King Darius. And he liked this idea. It flattered him. And so he signed this decree. Now, Daniel chapter 6, verse 10. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house, and his windows being opened in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed, and gave thanks before his God as he did aforetime. So Daniel knew that this decree had been signed. The punishment, if you uh, broke it, if you went against it, would be that you would be thrown into a den of lions. Daniel knew this, but he went up to his chamber, with his windows wide open and got down on his knees and began to pray to God and give thanks to him as he always had done. He knew what the consequences would be, but he did not let it change uh, how, he how and when he served God and prayed to him. Now the princes and the presidents knew when Daniel would be up in his window, uh, what time he would be there, what he would be, do would be doing, and so they went and they caught him in the act of praying to God. So they went to the king and they told him. Now the king was angry, but not at Daniel. He was angry with himself because he should have known better. He realized what he had just done. Well, they took Daniel to the den of lions and they uh, threw him in. And he uh, called out to Daniel saying that uh, the God that you serve, may he save you. And a stone was rolled over on top of this, uh, the, the hole, and uh, he sealed it with his ring. So uh, he went back to his palace, and he could not sleep the entire night. He could not eat, he could not drink, and uh, music did not help him whatsoever. He was so concerned about Daniel. Well, the next morning, early in the morning, he ran back, and uh, he had the stone removed. And he called down to Daniel, asking if he was still okay, if he was alive. Daniel chapter 6, verse 21. Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. Verse 22. My God hath sent his angel and shut the lions' mouths, that they have not hurt me, for as much as before him innocent, innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. So, God had closed the mouths of the lions, so they would not hurt Daniel. And the king was so relieved about this. He had Daniel pulled up out of the den and uh, he commanded that the presidents and the princes who had accused Daniel 
Daniel, be brought before him. And he had uh, the prince, those princes and presidents thrown into the den of lions. Now, Daniel stood firm in his faith, even when he knew that uh, making this decision of whether or not to serve God during the, that time when that decree was made meant death for him. You see, he didn't let the circumstances of that day change how and when he prayed to God when he served him. And we should do the same. When hard times, hard circumstances come our way, uh, we should not let it affect how we serve God and when we serve him. I hope that y'all enjoyed tonight's lesson. I can't wait to see you next week.